Hey everyone, it's Arlen Schweiger, executive editor of CE Pro. And we're all working from home at CE Pro here, uh, just like everyone else. So we decided we want to hold a, a bit of a, a Zoom CE Pro podcast. So for this first installment, we've got editor Jason Knott with us, senior editor Bob Archer, and web editor Andrew Nichols. Thank you guys for joining us today. Thanks, Arlen. Yeah, thanks for having us. So, you know, we wanted to chat, obviously, the coronavirus is on everyone's minds. Uh, and certainly there's a lot of, um, you know, negative aspects with all the trade shows being canceled and postponed. But we wanted to start off by uh, talking a little bit about, you know, some of the positive things that we are hearing from it. Uh, you know, Jason, I know you've posted a lot about opportunities that we've heard either anecdotally or from research firms. What can you tell us a little bit uh, for the, you know, the guys that are still doing a lot of business these days? Yeah, thanks, Arlen. There's a lot of uh, interesting opportunities that have come up from this that I think might be long-term opportunities for integrators that have now been spurred by coronavirus. So some of the ones that I'm hearing uh, specifically, obviously, home network upgrades. You know, people are working from home now. Their kids are home from school. Everybody's trying to use that same network. So it's a great opportunity. I'm hearing from integrators who are being called into the home to do network upgrades. Another opportunity I've heard is commercial work, which is interesting because a lot of integrators who do commercial work had to do it at night. So mm -hmm. when there's nobody in the restaurant and there's nobody um, in the office, well, now they're able to, to uh, go in and pound out those commercial projects during the daytime hours because there's nobody in the office and there's nobody in the restaurants. So that's another interesting opportunity. Also anecdotally, uh, security. So I've talked to a couple of integrators in a couple of large cities who are seeing a rise in burglaries in their uh, cities based upon, you know, when people are out of work, more crime does take place. Uh, one guy told me specifically um, in Las Vegas a few weeks ago that he had sold more security systems in a week uh, in March than he had in all, quite a long time. And then last but not least, another opportunity I've heard is about indoor air quality. People are concerned about purifying the air with the virus. Um, there's a company that, um, an integrator actually out of Westchester County, Refresh Smart Home, who told me that he just can't keep his, his packages in inventory. And he also has created a package for integrators for a company called Pure 365. And a couple of weeks ago, he told me he had 20 integrators sign up to be resellers, which is he had never had that happen uh, before. So there are some unique opportunities coming out of this. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. And that's uh, the indoor air quality, especially is something that um, certainly we've been writing for a bit now on CE Pro as part of the entire wellness uh, initiative. And, you know, just to add to that, I know certainly uh, we've been reading a lot more about how companies that in, in with the whole work from home situation, you don't want to just sit at home in a, a drab environment. You want it to be, you know, very lively, vibrant. So even things like lighting control and shade control, those are also, I'm hearing, have a, uh, been receiving a lot of uh, attention these days as well. Yeah, even uh, circadian rhythm lighting. We talk about human-centric lighting. I had read an article, I believe it was in Women's Health, that popped up in my Google search about how people who aren't used to working from home now are getting off on their sleep patterns. You stay up later, mm -hmm. you sleep in later because you don't have to get up early for that commute. And they were specifically recommending uh, human-centric lighting. So another opportunity. One more that I, I think I've seen as well on social media, it kind of goes hand in hand with you know, here are some safety precautions, but I think companies such as Crestron and URC, I've, I've seen some posts about how to, how to wipe down and sanitize touch screens and surfaces and things like that, keypads, touch screens. But uh, I know we're also hearing certainly that this could really be the boon that, that brings voice control even more into the forefront. Yeah, there was some research out that specifically said that they projected a 30% increase in voice control. So good point. And I know Andrew's working on an article now related to the headphone market. We're all sitting here with headsets on 
now and people are having to communicate that way. But the headphone market too seems to be something that might be spurred, Andrew, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, Parks Associates released some data today that said that there's probably going to be about a 30% increase in headphone sales. And honestly, they think the whole home audio market is going to be you know, up by the end of the year because people are stuck at home and want to entertain themselves and have like a better audio experience in general. And, and certainly you see like it's used as a tool headphones. Like right now we're on a call and most people have Zoom calls just like we are. And you know, you want to have a better, more professional looking audio setup. So you go out and you buy something like that. Sure, definitely a, a big opportunity, I think. Now, uh, so speaking of entertainment and uh, some more positivity that we can find around this whole situation, uh, you know, Bob, I know I think over the past week and a half or so, you know, you've been putting together a series of articles, slideshows, uh, Andrew and I have both contributed to in terms of you know, how people can spend some other time now. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Certainly with all the work from home and all the kids from home and, you know, they, they need to bide some time, but not only that, but, you know, people need uh, a little bit of a, of a reprieve from the constant barrage of, of news that they see on TV. Yeah, well, I, I got the idea from, you know, we're all in the same boat and I was, you know, wearing the position at our house of trying to keep the kids entertained and so I started going through our DVDs and trying to figure out uh, what can we do together as a family to provide some entertainment and to get the kids away from video games or their devices and so I started to come up with these uh, uh, slash show ideas for comedies and martial art movies and um, you know you contributed to the podcast one uh, Andrew did the entire gaming um list i'm not a gamer i don't pretend to be a gamer and um and now we're soliciting uh ideas from out there in the uh cd uh, ce pro readership world so if you've got a slideshow idea for movies that you find entertaining for you and your family please send those along we'd be happy to put that together yeah it's a fun series certainly uh everyone's looking for ideas i know uh you know, it's kind of funny because uh, since I've moved, I moved down to North Carolina going on close to four years now. So I've been working from home uh, every day. And so for me, it's something that, you know, during the day, I'll have audio on in the background, you know, a lot of the time. Um, but, you know, I know people who are just are kind of new to working from home now, you know, maybe they'll take their lunch break and, and watch something or listen to a podcast or, or, um, you know, even put on a, a favorite show for a half hour just to have a little escape from, from doing the work. So certainly yeah. uh, is needed. Hey, Andrew, you talked about video games too. Uh, you know, I, actually it's, it's funny because I've read that, you know, especially even for uh, children at this time, uh, I know I saw some articles that said video games, I think because of, you know, the dexterity, the keeping your mind fresh and sharp and things like that are actually pretty helpful right now. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, honestly, for a lot of people, it's a form of catharsis, right? You want to kind of escape the real world and you want to go play something that allows you to be more powerful than you are or go and hang out in a place that you can't go right now. That's certainly a huge concern. And, you know, so I tried to profile things that you can sink a lot of time into because a lot of people have, you know, overflowing amounts of extra time because they're stuck at home and they don't want to necessarily hang out with the three people they have in their house, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Right, or their cats and their dogs. And right, their, yeah. That as well. Uh, so, one, you know, one last topic that uh, I think we'd like to hit upon today is, you know, the April issue of CE Pro is out. It's our annual Quest for Quality Awards issue. And again, this year, we've, you know, uh, been proud to, and this is our 10th year doing it, been proud to highlight the manufacturers and distributors that uh, really step up their game for service and support for integration. Uh, the whole channel really. Uh, so one thing I just wanted to ask you guys about and because we've been doing a lot of posting on CE Pro about it is ways that we've so far seen some of these companies, you know, continue to step up that service for the channel uh, by creating resources for coronavirus, uh, where uh, their integrators can find stuff about small business administration loans and things like that. Uh, and then also, Andrew, if you could, you could tell us a little bit about the Quest for Quality coverage that's going to be coming up uh, in the spotlight at, uh, the second half of April. 
Right. Yeah. So we're going to take a look at uh, a lot of these, you know, things that are coming up soon and, and kind of giving them a little bit more airtime than they normally would have. I mean, typically we kind of list everything out and and people check it out and that's often the end of it. You know, they might search through a gallery or something, but we're trying to kind of put things to the forefront, you know, put uh, integrators and manufacturers in the spotlight and kind of showcase what they've been up to and, and why it's uh, a little more unique and entertaining than it has been in the past, honestly, at least in my opinion. Yeah, and I think Arlen, the quest for quality is super important right now, as you mentioned, in the middle of the coronavirus situation, because it's a focus on tech support, sales support, uh, extended terms and things like that that we're hearing manufacturers are are bringing to integrators to help them through this time so these guys who win the quest for quality awards which will be up on the website starting april 16th are the guys who were voted with over 12,000 votes by ce pros to um providing excellent services people resources the, the people behind the products yeah, and even now we're, you know, I know we're all receiving in our email inboxes uh, messages from companies saying, you know, how they're supporting their dealers, you know, they're putting together, uh, you know, I think we've had a lot, we've had more than we can even put online that we're trying to get different messaging up there. I know we had stuff from URC and Savant and One Vision Resources uh, about different portals they're creating, uh, message templates that integrators are able to send out uh, and different things that they're able to do in their own companies as well. You know, we talk about how dealers are supporting the channel, but certainly even within their own businesses, they're, they're running businesses and they have to figure out how to work from home, how to get this messaging across. So I imagine we'll continue to see that, uh, plus a lot of online trainings and things like that going forward uh, that people can find on CEPro.com. Yeah, I think it's also a double whammy for a lot of the manufacturers because they source product from China. So they were, they have been hit by this much earlier than the integration community was hit by this. So it's been a, a three month ordeal for them, uh, whereas the integrators have just started to feel it in the past month. So again, all that stuff's on CEPro.com. And in fact, we have a great uh, tag, uh, a coronavirus tag cepro.com slash tag slash coronavirus that they can find or just search google search cepro coronavirus and you'll see all that coverage great well you know i want to thank you guys again for getting together for this uh this chat this morning and remind everyone that you know they can follow all the updated information on cepro.com check out our april edition of cepro it's out uh digital edition and you've probably gotten it already in your mailboxes uh, but there's great stuff on the Quest for Quality Awards. We have our outdoor, annual outdoor tech study and other good items that you could look into. So Jason, Bob, Andrew, thanks for joining us. I'm Arlen Schweiger and check out CEPro.com for the latest.